Well, I mean, obviously that, that case settled this week. I mean, we can't speak for the family, but no. if you were the mother listening to that, would it... I don't do know. Anything? I think, like you said in the opening, it's for me, it's too little, too late, really. Mm -hmm. um, that should have been done right at the beginning for me. And also, I feel like he's doing it for damage limitation. Yeah. yeah. He's and doing it's affect it. his company. He's exactly. worried he's losing, you know. He's doing that through. statement as they announce their half yearly report. So mm. he's doing that statement to shareholders because obviously the impact of the negative publicity over the last few days yeah. will have an effect on their share price. Mm. Yeah. I, think I mean, I think the thing that's often forgotten in this, because you see the faces of these beautiful little children come up. This was nine years ago. Yeah. Nine years this family have been going mm. through this and, and the father has said that, you know, they just feel that they've not had any communication with a company that they've looked for answers they've just not had that kind of relationship so I wonder if you just get to a stage that an apology is just never going to to have any impact and that's not a sincere apology what's behind the apology is you know finance and business it's not compassion or caring for the family it's well I mean he's obviously said as a father I feel it I mean you, you can't judge people's but I mean it's whether or not that's going to give the family any comfort mm. and I'm sure they will uh, be the judges of that but Oh, Can I, I just give a top tip? If you're doing an apology, don't read it off all to Q like well, he was yeah. then. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. And, and to see the two screens uh, there, I mean, if it's heartfelt, it's really got to feel it, hasn't it?